welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be talking about enumeration in our um, informational tutorial. Um, what is an enumeration? Well, it is essentially a list of values. So if I bring it up, if you right click and go down to blueprints, you'll see enumeration. Uh, and we can use it as a list of values. So let's say, for example, we want it to be a list of names. We can do that. Uh, you could use it as a list of weapons, a list of... Um, so, for example, I use it for creatures. I use it for uh, conditions. You know, it's just it's just a list you can call at any point. Um, so, for example, let's say we had um, names. So, Sarah. We might have... Um, Let's add a few. Let's say we had Sarah, we had Jake, we had Betty, oh, Tommy, and Randy. We got Randy. Okay. We got five names here. Okay. Um, now. What is it used for? What is it useful for? Well, we can do a few things for here. Now, it's mainly good for checking things. Um, so, for example, in the Pokemon clone tutorial series, we have it that um, we can use it for a um, a status. I'll keep that enum there because actually that is linked to that one. So, let's get another one and we'll get our names enum. There we go. So we've got our e, uh, we've got our names, enum, and we also got our. This is our status enum. So I'll show you what you can do with these sort of things. Now, they're great to put into struts, so they go, kind of go hand in hand in, with structures, in the sense that if you put them on structures, you can use them for checking things. Um, uh, as I said, with the Pokemon clone, going back to that. Uh, I have one on my creature information, and that's what this status thing is, which if I go equal, equal, uh, wrong one, my apologies, you have two special ones, so we have an uh, equals enum, we also have a not equal enum, so we can check if it equals or doesn't equal to something, and in this case we've got um, our conditions, so like frozen, poison, paralyzed, burned, confused, and asleep. And I can use this to check uh, whether I am frozen or not, for example. Or I can see if I don't have one. So if it's on none, I could say, okay, does my condition equal nothing? And if that's true, and we want to set it to a new condition, we can do that. So, for example, with my moves, uh, I don't have one available here, but with my moves, they also have a condition set to them. So... If I check my condition, I want to set it to being burned, for example, uh, I could check the move. Does it... So we, we check the enum first. We check the condition. Does my creature's condition equal none? If that's true, we want it to set it to be burned. Well, to do that, we get the move and we set it to whatever condition that move applies. So that's a good example of how to use an enum. Going back to our name variable, uh, for example, we can either pick out any name we want to to check it against or we can again we could have like an ai we could be looking for a specific ai um this could be i'm trying to think of an example so hitman for example all of those characters the main characters in like the latest hitman have a name uh i would imagine they have an enum applied to them um that we could check and that's used primarily for those random um Hitman events where, you know, once, I think it used to be once a week or once a month, they would randomly give you a target within the world. I think they also do it for the multiplayer. So if you're playing with a friend, it will provide you with a random enumeration. Um, and it would look for that character. So it's good for lists and it's good for checking those lists against real world names. Um, and also, um, again, we can use them to drive conditions and things like that. So, again, 
we can also go and say, right, does my character's, um, is my character called Sarah? If that's true, we want to set Sarah as our target. Or again, in the idea of the Pokemon clone, uh, is my uh, character poisoned or burnt or frozen? If it's not, apply the condition. And then later on, we can also go, okay, does our character have this condition, like burned? And if it does, we deal 20 damage. Or is it frozen? If it's frozen, we skip a turn, you know? There's, th this is what I primarily use my enumerations for. It's just driving different events within the world, basically. Um, and as I said, they kind of go hand in hand with structures as well, in the sense that, for example, if I pull one up, uh, let's go to my, oh, let's get my creature information. Here we go. Uh, you'll see it. Let's click on her badger, for example. If we go down, you can see it here. I've also got a gender. So I have a gender enumeration, enumeration which is male and female. I also have an active status, which is another enumeration, which is one of the many status conditions we could potentially have. So using those two um, um, as an example, you can kind of see how it's good for setting information from lists, essentially. I plan on using another enumeration down the line, but I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, but yeah, that's enumerations as a whole. It's essentially just a list of name values that you can use to drive um, conditions and information within your world. Um, hopefully that's been helpful and has explained it a little bit better for you. And um, I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like, leave a little comment. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.